Okay, this electric service panel. It was screwed in place. Screwed in place. Should have been nailed. Another video where I talk about that, but screws are fast and tight. I, I get that. But they don't have the same shear strength as, as nails. And if should we have a tornado, this panel is, or something like that, you know, a microburst. Um, but this panel is not going to stay in place. It's not as likely to stay in place as if it would have been properly nailed. Uh, L1 and 2 have the rubber boots on them. That's, that's good. That's good. We want that because copper coming in, copper to copper. The neutral's labeled. We got that. This is fine. All fine, fine, fine. You come down here, these wires and cables should not be in contact with the panel cover. And this copper, this, this insulation right here, it's coming unwound. So some of these, some of these lines, it was just time. It's not like it was aluminum, but they're just damaged. It's, it's not like it was, but damage, damage, damage. We got white hots. I'm not sure, but because of the size of this wire cable, 60 amps. I think there's a very good possibility that the condensing unit is overfused. It's got a 50 amp. Let me make sure. I think it's got a 50 amp fuse. Yeah. And so that's a, that's a possibility. And I'm judging that. But this is a 50 amp over here. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. You got a 50 50 chance on whether it's overfused or not. You got sawdust in the panel. Sawdust in the panel. The bonding location is not labeled. The electric conduit supply weather head over there is supposed to extend over the roof covering. It is. And then the labeling. There is no labeling. There is, there is no labeling on this panel. It's a recent installation. I'm not seeing a green tag either. It didn't have to be code approved if the owner put this in, but if an electrical company came in, they should have pulled a permit. That would have been the prudent thing to do. Uh, we got a single grounding wire coming down here. Okay, should be two. Should be two. Within eight feet of each other. Or is it six? But two, close. This is called a connector. No connector over here. This is called bundling. You're only supposed to bring two cables in at once. Two cables in at once. And obviously they, they bundle that. Now on an exterior wall application, that, that might be allowed. Try not to be an alarmist here, but you're missing your connector all the same. Regardless. So, that's what your panel 